What exactly happened to Ilnam's wife and son? Ilnam revealed that he had a son and a wife who used to live in the same neighborhood as in the Marble game. No other info has been provided about his family, but people online think that Ilnam's son could really be Giyun. If a season 2 comes out, maybe we could get more insight into why he started the games. Did all of the game staff know that the old man was really the host and to protect him? We never find out, but I wonder if the game staff did know that he was the host and to keep an extra eye and protect him no matter what. Did the videos that the detective tried to send at the top of the island ever send to his colleague? If a season 2 happens, the detective could possibly return because we are not sure if he is alive or not. Are the games in Squid Game the same for every single year since 1988 when the game came out? There is nothing in the files that the detective finds or anything that reveals what games they play every year. Maybe if we get a second season, there will be a little more insight of what games they play and if they are really just all children's games. In Squid Game, is there usually only one winner per year? When the detective is going through the files, he finds the list of winners, and from the first four years, it looks like there was only one winner per year. The first winner was number 174, the second was 129, the third was 28, and the fourth was 63. This would be something we could find out in future seasons. What exactly happened to the people that did not come back to Squid Game after being sent home? Let me know what you think in the comments. Some people think they could possibly be even the game staff. Who exactly takes over as the host now that the old man has passed away? I personally think it's going to be the front man turning into the host if there is a second season. But who knows, maybe the recruiter could become the host or one of the game staff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Here's why the employees of Squid Game may actually be the past winners. Spoilers ahead. Since Squid Game has been going on since 1988, there have been 14,592 contestants if they recruited 456 players a year. Let's just say that 1% of the contestants won the games. This would mean that there were about 145 employees. This could 100% be a possibility. Who exactly are the VIPs that come and watch the Squid Game? Very little is explained about them, but it appears that they are rich Americans. How did they find out about the game, and why do they think they have so much control over the game staff? Referring to the incident with the detective. Also, who are the human statues? Are they also people trying to make money because they are in debt? Did you know, in Squid Game, spoilers ahead, according to the files in the front man's office, Squid Game has been around since 1988. Let's say that they have 456 people every year in Squid Game. That would mean there was 14,592 players participating in Squid Game since 1988. If there was only one winner of each game, that means there would be 32 winners. Who exactly is the recruiter right here? Could he possibly be someone who's in debt who is doing this for the game staff to make money? Or is he one of the rich elites who are just trying to fund off of the games? We don't really know much about him, but we see in the beginning that he is the recruiter, and then he is also the recruiter for next year's games in the end. He plays such a small but memorable role. How exactly did Inho become the front man? As we all know, Inho is the detective's brother. He had gone missing, and when his brother found the Squid Game card, he went looking for him. But I don't think we're ever told how long he was missing for, so maybe he was a winner of one of the past games, and the games changed him. This would be something I would love to find out if there is Season 2.